My brother-in-law is hit it again, man. Not even a couple minutes after. Look at that. Let's see what he's got. It's gotta be another catfish. Can't back that way. Gabriel, 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 Gabriel. Oh, dude, if that's a catfish, that's a humongous one, bro. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, bro. Is it gonna go across my line? No, you're good. You're good. The caddy? Oh yeah. Yeah, man. It's been a bunch of gap tops this big. Yeah. So how many? How many is this one being, Gabriel? About seven. Seven gaff tops and probably all of them been about that big, huh? Big. Dude, that's like at least an 18, 19 incher. Yeah. They're freaking coming hard. So what's happening, Kim? We're back here at Spoonville with my brother-in-law. Well, we did not bring our camper today because uh, my brother-in-law them were already here. We actually just came out because uh, I got off of work and the wife was like, you wanna go fishing? I said, hell yeah, let's go. So we ended up coming down here and uh, we're gonna do an overnight fishing, a little overnight fishing here. But my brother-in-law did catch a 36 inch red already. So that is actually on the stringer. Uh, and then he just caught this. And then like I said, he's caught like seven of them like that. And they all have been about that big. So that's pretty cool, man. Look at that. Nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's what he's been running over here today. Uh, here, I haven't pulled the uh, uh, red out so he can show you the red. So hang on a second. So it's actually been raining today and it's been raining since yesterday, but the water's kind of high, but look at this. This is what he caught earlier today. Look at that bad boy. Oh my God. That's a, uh, what, 36? 36 inch red right there. Look at that. Beautiful fish, man. Beautiful fish. So yeah, we're gonna end up uh, we're gonna end up getting on that later on. But it started getting windy. It wasn't this windy just a little bit ago. Uh, so like I said, man, we just came for an overnighter. We didn't bring the camper. The brother-in-law's got his camper here, so uh, hopefully he'll let us stay with him. If not, we'll be staying in the truck. <laughs> so, but it's all good. So we're gonna get back on this fishing, and then we'll catch y'all in a little bit. Like crazy. Oh, <laughs> jumping out of the water, bro. Yep. They're coming in strong. So hopefully after these come, we'll get some reds in next. Yes, sir. Look at that. Oh, man. Fishing's good, bro. Fuck yeah. My brother-in-law is hitting it again, man. Not even a couple minutes after. Look at that. Yep. There you go. There you go. All right, we'll get back with y'all. All right, Kim Poker. Run along, caught another one. This one's actually taking a little longer. It's way down there, huh? Let's see what he's got. It's got to be another catfish. There it is. Another caddy. Dude, they're fucking everywhere, bro. Yeah, but dude, they're all big, too. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice one. And then also, the current has changed, so our lines were actually all going that way, and now the current has changed back that way. Gabriel, 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 Gabriel. <laughs> that one, too? Let's see. Oh, 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 shit, bro. Oh shit, bro! Oh, is it pulling it? Oh, yeah. Is it pulling line, bro? Just like the other one. Yes, sir. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Might be a big. Oh, dude! If that's a catfish, that's a humongous one, bro. Nothing, nothing. All right, let's see what's going on here. I hope it don't bust the line. Yeah, don't bust the line. Don't bust the line. You got it coming in, though. It's coming. You got it coming in. There it goes, there it goes. Pulling a little bit. Yep. Yeah, yeah baby. 
Reel it in fast. Yep, reel it in fast. Come into it. There you go. Where's he at, bro? Where's he at? <laughs> bro. Bro. It's a gar. It's a gar, bro. Bring it, bring it, bring it. It's a gar. Right here, right here. Holy hell. Let me see, let me see. Here, grab this, grab this, grab this. Where's he at, bro? He's somewhere right there. Right here, there he is, there right he is. Wait, bring him back, bring him back. So once we get start getting this cut up, we'll show you uh, how it's done. Cause like I said, I've never done it and I've never seen it done. So we're gonna get it. What the fuck? Kimfo, I just got shit on by a fucking bird. <laughs> is it on my neck? Cause I felt it in yes, my neck. It is. It's on your hair. Yeah, it's on your hair. That's gross. Son of a bitch. And we were all standing here. You just got, you were the lucky one. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> There you go. Got some nice big old blades out of it. Got the back there. So that was awesome. We're gonna try to go ahead and probably cook something up here after a while. So we'll let you know what they taste like. And then uh, we'll go ahead and try the other way. Also trying to grind it up, make some uh, gar balls out of it and see how that is. So pretty safe. Um, we're gonna get back to the fishing and see if we can catch some more stuff. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, Kimfo. So we're out here, we're about to cook this fish. It's 9.30 at night. We still got some poles out there, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and, we got this fish marinating in some uh, beer and Scarface Michelada mix. I'm sorry, not fish, gar, alligator gar. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that on here. Just a little salt and pepper, that's it, man. And a little bit of oil in there. And um, and that's all we're gonna do. So we're gonna grill it, and see how it comes out. So all we did was put in this uh, in a little skillet grill type deal, oil, salt and pepper, and we actually, I mean, the filet was so thick that we sliced it up 
twice. Twice. And it made like these four fillets basically, right? One, two, three, four is how it came out. So just super thick. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and just give it a taste. It, the meat, super white, it's not real flaky. I mean, it actually looks like chicken if you, if you ask me. I mean, the meat looks like chicken to me, right? So let's see what it tastes like. So the other way we're gonna try it in the next video is we're gonna grind it up and put it in, in a meat grinder and uh, put some garlic with some butter, onion, right Gabriel? Onions. Onions, and then uh, min once it gets minced up and everything, then we're gonna make it into a little ball and make gar balls. And we're gonna try it like that next time. So this time we just cooked it up like it is. Like I said, we butterflied it out like two times and then uh, and put it on that little griddle. So let's see what it tastes like. Not like I was expecting. It is very chewy, very fishy, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's got a very fishy taste to it. It's chewy. Yeah. It's tough. Like chicken. Like chicken, but it's it's tougher. So. It smells good though. <laughs> it smells really good. I mean, it's not bad. It's just it's not tender at all. That's probably why they grind it up, mince it up, and put it into a ball because it's. It makes it, you know, not so tough. I'm gonna see if the wife will taste it. No, fuck that. Babe, taste it. Nope. For nope. somebody that doesn't. It just, nope. <laughs> but it's no. just. No. <laughs> All right, Kim Book. I appreciate y'all watching, man. You see how that went. We're gonna go ahead, like I said, stay tuned for the next video because the next video is gonna be of us mincing this up, making it into gar balls, and, uh, and trying it that way. And I told Gabriel too, we should try it like with a little dipping sauce of a uh, tartar sauce with ketchup and probably even some hot sauce in there. I think that would be really good to dip them in. So we'll go from there. We're gonna try to finish these out. We ate dinner already too. So we're gonna try to finish these out and then uh, and hopefully we'll catch some more fish. So if we do catch some more fish, you'll see that in this video. Oh, Kim folk. My brother-in-law just caught another alligator guard what time is it? look at that it is 1 30 bro 1 30 in the morning 1 30 in the morning and that thing is it's bigger than the other one bigger than the other one. all right so my brother-in-law caught dude i want to measure this joker bro we don't have it so that's it my brother-in-law's got the Another gar in the bag. <laughs> Big dog. That's how you do it, baby. Yeah, I caught a red. And it's got a parasite on it, so yeah, another one there. So we're gonna go ahead and throw them back. So Gabriel's gonna go ahead and release them. Take them over there, bro. So we're trying to get this guy back, man. We don't wanna we don't want him to hurt himself. There you go. <laughs> Gabriel, what do you think, bro? Number two, baby. Number two. Fuck yeah. Huh? Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. All right, Kim, but we're going to see if we can do some more, more on this shit. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. Kim, folks, so we just measured this out, right? So I'm 5'11", and the knot that my brother-in-law tied was probably about this much taller so that that is probably a six foot alligator guard right there six foot insane y'all we have light tackle to be to to be catching these alligator gar our tackle compared to people that fish for alligator gar is totally light man like it's it's crazy like compared to what we probably need to be wrestling these yes. things in but your leader let me see your leader bro my leader destroyed these so this thing here the guard destroyed that thing look at that so Useless. i don't think he's gonna be able he's gonna have to get another leader before you do some more fishing <laughs> Kimbo. crazy let's keep going 
1.30 in the morning, we're gonna keep fishing. See ya! The wife's got one now. Man, we've been catching these gaff top all day today. Today's Sunday, by the way, y'all. Thing's pulling though, huh? Big one, babe. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job. Okay, let me get him unhooked. Oh, I've got another one. She got another one. It's another caddy bit. Yep. It feels like it. Damn. <laughs> get it, girl. Get it. Oh, shit. There it is. That's a pretty big one too. Let's see. Another cat. I think the wife's got another one. She's killing them over here. I'm killing them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, we're gonna get it off. So the wife does have one now. <laughs> yep. yep. She says the alligator gar and a redfish all together. <laughs> Another caddy. All right, let me get this one off. Can't forget I went to the bathroom and Letty got one and the wife got another one. Yes. Uh, let's see what Letty's is. A catfish. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me take them off. Well, we we're just getting ready to leave and let the caught another one. Another caddy. Another caddy. Ooh, good job. All right, time to take it off. All right, Kimbo man. What another great weekend of fishing, let me tell you. So, and I want to give a big shout out to Gabriel and Letty, man, because like I said, me and the wife just got off of work on Saturday. We weren't having, we didn't have any plans of coming camping, but my brother-in-law and sister-in-law were already out here and we were just going to come for an overnight fishing trip and hang out with them. But big shout out to them. They let us stay in their camper. We didn't have to sleep in the truck. <laughs> so thank y'all very much. And uh, yeah, but another great fishing trip, man. It was really really cool brother-in-law caught two alligator gar uh we ended up keeping one of them the other one we threw back and uh he also caught 36, 36 inch red which was awesome uh we ended up keeping that one so we've got plenty of meat to be able to do some kind of fry or with the uh gar we're actually going to try to do gar balls so a uh, guy here at the park was telling us how they do it and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try that and I'll let you know how that turns out cuz it's gonna be another video right so like uh, like I said man just thank y'all so much for following us I hope you enjoy these fishing trips we coming on to Spoonbill over here in, in uh, Smith Point Texas so if you're ever out this way man give them a look uh, or look them up and you can come day fishing you can launch kayaks out here Boats. Of course, bring your yeah boats. Uh, they have a boat ramp as well, and it's open to the public, of course. So if you want to come and just do something during the day, you're allowed to do that. Uh, I don't remember the price of, but it's not expensive at all. So come check them out, man. Spoonbill RV Park in Smith Point, Texas. Tell them Myra sent you. Tell them Myra sent you, and uh, they'll take care of you. So we love coming here, man. They're amazing people here. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Thank y'all so much again, man. Uh, we're gonna head to the house, take a shower because I smell a little fishy. Ew. A little fishy. And uh, so we'll see you on the next one. Much love, much respect. Knuckles out.